Mercer, this is the Mercer Report. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. This week on the show, I tunnel under Niagara Falls using the biggest tunnel boring machine in the world. This is the one you can't rent at Home Depot. Also this week, I travel to Tofino, B.C. to learn to surf from the Surf Sisters. Coolest nuns ever. All that and so much more, but first, please, take a look at this. to Niagara Falls, Ontario. It is truly one of the most spectacular sights on the continent. It is the stuff of legend. And while a few souls have gone over these falls and survived, today I go under them, 450 feet below the surface, in a tunnel where lurks the biggest and most powerful drilling machine on Earth. And I will drive it. One wrong turn, that sucker could be bone dry by morning. Standing at the mouth of this really big dig, the Niagara Tunnel Project, and this is Ernst Schnitzer. Hello, Ernst, how are you? Nice to meet you, Rick. And you, sir, are the project manager? I'm the project manager responsible since the start of this project. Okay, now this is actually the largest infrastructure project that's happening in Canada right now, correct? That's correct. Ontario Power Generation Project, although I don't see any Canada Action Plan signs. <laughs> well, uh, it's probably... Because it's not in Tony Clement's riding. It's not a gazebo. This is green power we're building here. Okay, talk to me about when we go through this tunnel. We drive all the way down 450 feet under the original surface. 450 feet below the earth. We uh, drive uh, right underneath the city of Niagara Falls, under Stanley Avenue, all the way along under Stanley, Stanley Avenue. Past the casino. We pass the casino. Under the wax museum. Uh, correct. Yep. Uh, bypass the Horseshoe Falls. Yep. And then we do a left turn towards the U.S., making yes. sure to not to go too far. No, we don't want any trouble. And then we drive right under the Niagara River. And that's where I drive the big drill. That's where you have a unique chance to, to drive Big Becky. Big Becky, is that what we call her? Big Becky uh, is uh, the name of the tunnel machine. Journey to the center of the earth in a yellow school bus. Not how I envisioned it. Okay, so we've now driven nine and a half kilometers through this tunnel, and the lights up ahead, that, my friends, is the backside of Big Becky. Nice parking job. <laughs> All right, Alex, where are we going? We're going right up to the front of the tunnel, right? To the face of the tunnel. That's right. So, Alex, this is the only place you can actually touch the unsupported rock, correct? This is basically it. Just in case I haven't made any sense out of this, we are now at the front of Big Becky. The front of Big Becky, what's the diameter? 14.4 meters in diameter. Okay, it's huge. It's a massively powerful machine. It drills through the rock, That's the 420 right. million year old rock, and then you guys put up this mesh to keep the rock from falling in. Then it's all cemented. And at the end of the day, it's going to be a beautiful, smooth culvert, and water is going to gush through here at approximately 600 million miles an hour. That's the idea. And a whole lot of houses are going to get electricity a whole lot for a hundred years. That's right. That's pretty amazing. Okay, this is Frank Caroli. Hello, Frank. How are you? Nice pretty to good. see you, sir. Now we nice are underneath you. Big Becky. Yes. So we're going to the cutter head. Yes. Those individual round things. Yes. Those are the. Those are the cutters. The cutters. They do the cutting. Those so are. So this whole wheel we see that doesn't yeah. move. Does it? Yes. That's the whole it. thing spins. The whole thing spins. I see. And then the, the gravel, the rock, comes through these holes. Comes through those holes, and there's also collector bins down at the bottom. Goes down there, and also up here, on the, which is a conveyor and belt. And it dumps onto the conveyor belt. This cuts, that scoops. That must be an ungodly racket, is it? Oh, yes. It's crazy. Yes. And vibrations. Oh, a lot of vibrations, a lot and of noise. And no one, obviously, can be anywhere around Nobody's here. Nobody's allowed in here. No, no one's allowed in here when it's no, operating. Actually, the keys to Big Becky have to be in here while the men are here, so that nobody by accident turns it on. Alrighty, let's go start it up. Well, in time. In time. 
It's hard to describe what it's like being inside this machine. It's like being inside the Death Star. It's like it's like where Darth Vader fought Luke Skywalker, where the Terminator defeated T-1000. It's like it's like a bar in Fort McMurray on a Saturday night. Yikes! Where does it end? Well, there's more than one Becky at the bottom of this tunnel. This is Rebecca Crossway. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Good, thanks. Yourself? So what's your job down here? I am one of the owner's representatives. Ah, uh, so you're keeping an eye on things. Yeah, pretty much. We make sure things are done safely, properly, according to the design specs. And why do they let us down here? Uh, beats me. Are you nervous? Um, to be frank, yes. <laughs> Grips onto the wall and then it goes forward. That's right. Gotcha. Phone's ringing. Hello. Mission control. Hello. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Guy said we were clear and good to go. Okay. <laughs> Big piece. I was you. <laughs> that one's already going. This one running. This one running. Oh, now this is moving. Did I do that? Yeah, that's right. I did that. And I did that. That's and right. And I did that and that. That's right. Okay, so now all the conveyor belts are going. Now you want to start dialing that in? And that's going to give me the juice? Yeah, that's like the throttle. Go all the way? Yeah, uh, not all the way, but uh, we don't want to go too fast. Awesome. Just a little bit of a vibration, like the subway's coming. Okay, we're, we're cooking. We're drilling. Look at the rock. Look at the rock. Four meters per hour Four, right now. Can I crank it up a little bit? Uh, I want to go a little bit down a little bit. Four meters is a lot. It's four meters? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take her down. Take her down. It, it rocks and rolls a little bit, eh? Thank you, Marco. No problem. All righty. Oh, yeah, we are. Thank you, my friend. That's, That's a great day under Niagara Falls.